We are in London, specifically Clapham Junction, and we have Zone 1 6 travel cards again. I've said this before, haven't I? And once again, with these travel cards, we're going to do a random journey in Greater London. But this time... We're going to only use National Rail just to make it more interesting. We're going to be completely omitting the tube from the uh, random generation and seeing how much different it might end up being. So we've chosen to start at Clapham Junction mainly because it's where a lot of different lines converge. So hopefully we can get the, uh, well, biggest different variety of possible routes we can get. So. Let's begin with the first roll. Let's go. So firstly, we're spinning between the TOCs that come here, which are SWR, Southern, or the London Overground. So, let's see what it lands on. I guess we're going It's between SWR and Southern. Southwestern Railway. We're going to get the most common TOC that comes through here. All right. <laughs> okay, so these are the services within the next 20, 30 minutes that have stops within our zones one to six that we have. So I'm going to randomise this and then we're going to randomise the amount of stops after that. So I guess we're going on a train to... Oh, wow, what a... <laughs> wow, London Water... Of all the ones, SWR to London Waterloo oh, it could have been. That's... Uh, <laughs> we got the most boring one to begin with. Well, of all the possible ones we could have got, we got the most basic journey you can do from Clapham, which is go to Waterloo <laughs> on SWR. Wonderful. <laughs> We got so ahead of ourselves, we didn't actually randomise the uh, number of stops, but uh, we've got two. two. So, so that will take us to Vauxhall, I think. I think so. Yes, okay. So we're not going immediately to Waterloo. All right then, well, here is our first stop, Vauxhall. So, well, here we are now at Vauxhall. The, there's, uh, yeah, there's only South Western Railway yeah. call here, so we've just done all the South Western Railway. We've done exactly, it's exactly the same services, the, this way, that way, whatever. So uh, we're going to roll those again. And we have, please don't be Waterloo, please don't be Waterloo. It seems it's going Woking to be Woking via Stains. Let's have a look at the stops in that service that we can go to then. All right then. So we counted that there are 13 stops that we can go to within the zones one to six. I think the last one in zone six being Feltham, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so yeah. we're going to randomize. So let's randomize the number of stops from stops. that. 10, ten which goes to, let me double check. Scion Lane is 10 stops. Cool, new station for me, let's go. So, which platform do the Cyan Lane services go to? Let's find out. Uh, Woking via the 1254 Platform 3. Nice. All right, well, Platform 3 is behind me here. Uh, how long was it until? About it's 12.54. What's the time minutes. now? 13. OK. That's fine to wait for me. OK, no, well, the Woking service is now the next departure out of Platform 3. It arrives in about four minutes. OK, well, it's 27 minutes to Scion Lane from Vauxhall. We have a little bit of a nice sit down, which is going to be cool. I do feel like, though, we're probably going to be kind of bound to sort of just southwest London because of, you know, the way all the connections work and, you know, the services actually run to the most of the stations there. To sort of potentially, hopefully, counteract this issue, we're going to add a specific rule for this video in the fact that if we're within reasonable walking distance to, like, another station that has, you know, different services or whatever, different TOCs, then Say, like, we can... if we've got to Waterloo and we can add Waterloo yeah. East as an option on Say the Waterloo, wheel. Waterloo East, um, Queenstown Road and Battersea Park, then we can add, like, walk to the other station as a potential option to put on the wheel, if that makes sense. Okay, Stein Lane's coming up. Let's get ready to get out and randomise from there. So, Cyan Lane. There's a lot of plane noise here, because I imagine that's from Heathrow, possibly. So, now, I don't know if this is just because we're filming this on a Sunday, but the next train that way isn't for another hour. And I don't really want to wait for that. So instead, we're just going to randomise the number of stops on the next London Waterloo bound service. So we don't have to wait for an hour. So our number of stations to Waterloo... 11! Waterloo! That, that takes us to Waterloo! 
<laughs> great, great, I mean, okay. At least there's a chance we can go to Water Louise then. True, that is that is true. I'd like to get out of There is a chance for us lines. to actually escape southwest London. So that could be good. So it looks like we're going back to Waterloo. Well, not back as in we've been there already, but as in back we're going ourselves. back on ourselves towards Waterloo all the way. Because the wheel really wants us to go to Waterloo for some reason. Still to this day, I get Brentford and Brentwood stations mixed up. Brentwood being Elizabeth Line, Brentford being here on SWR. A slight disadvantage of doing this on a Sunday is the fact that there'll be quite a lot of stations that will get like less of a service. Like or, some lines that don't have a yeah, Sunday service. Some lines don't have a Sunday service, um, particularly like the Ealing and Greenford shuttle, but I don't think we'll end up there. <laughs> Very unlikely. Um, or there's some stations that only get served by some TOCs not on Sundays, and yeah. Oh hey, we're back at Clapham Junction. We've 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 gone nowhere since we started. Just restart the video now. Yeah, we can, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just get out and start from the beginning. Yeah. Well, thanks to the command of RNG, we are now at Waterloo. Let's find out where we go from here. So before we go through the barriers, what we're going to do is we're going to randomise whether we actually get a train out of Waterloo or Waterloo East. So hopefully we can maybe have a chance to escape the southwest of London. And it looks like, Waterloo yes, East. Waterloo East. Okay, so we're going to walk to Waterloo East from here. So I suppose we'll make our way to Waterloo East then. And uh, I think it's only Southeastern that go from Waterloo East, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. They're like the, the Charing Cross services go via Waterloo East. So we'll, we'll see where they go. Very interesting passageway between the stations. So, so here are all these services that are leaving within the next 30 or so minutes. Let's uh, give it a spin. I'm going towards Gravesend. It's, it appears, yes. Appears we're landing on Gravesend. Okay, I think that leaves in about like 20 minutes or something. Yeah. All right, well, it looks like the final zone six one is Crayford. So how many stops is it between here and Crayford? And one to nine, five. That is apparently New Eltham. So we'll go to New Eltham, which um, the Gravesend service departs from platform C. The, the, the platforms here are A, B, C, D, rather than numbers. That's quite unique. I don't exactly remember what sort of rolling stock runs on each route, but I think it's quite likely we're going to be on a networker to Gra Do they go to Gravesend? I, I do not remember. <laughs> actually, no, I was wrong. It actually says City Beam on the departure board. So that means it's going to be a 707. Cool, cool, all right. I don't think I've ever ridden a 707 for more than about like five minutes at once. So this is uh, nice. We'll be on here for about 35 minutes to New Eltham, I think. Something like that. We're also in the part of the train where there is uh, two plus one seating in standard class. That I, I don't know of anywhere else where that's really a thing. I mean, as far as I know, it's just like this part. I'm guessing it probably just adds some more like standing room because Desiro City trains are quite focused on being, you know, commuter, high capacity services, so filling in more standing capacity where possible is quite a good idea. I'm definitely glad we were able to uh, escape southwest London. It would have been a bit underwhelming being, you know, randomly generated entirely of Greater London and we're stuck in just a quarter of the city. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we've gone from the southwest to the southeast now. All right, well, here's the next station that uh, the Wheel of Fortune has sent us to, and that is New Eltham. So, services within the next 30 minutes are either Dartford or Charing Cross. And it appears we've landed on Charing Cross. Well, the next service towards Charing Cross is in about one minute from here. It's a very quick changeover. 
think we've only really been able to make it because our train here was a bit early. And between one and seven oh, is we're going to Cross. <laughs> it keeps sending us to the termini. It keeps doing. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, Charing Cross then. Twice now, twice, it's picked the highest number to send us back to the London Terminus. London Bridge Station. This is probably the station I hope the most that we get in the next randomization. Unlikely as it is, but it'd be nice as it's got a lot more like lines that go off of it and TOCs and stuff. I've seen a lot of 375s and 376s go by. They are both trains I still never have ridden before. So I'll have to get round to that at some point. All right, Charing Cross. We've made it. So, new randomization. So time to randomize once again. And it looks like the service we're getting is towards Seven Oaks. Seven Oaks. It would appear that that service is at 1631, which is in 15 minutes from now, okay. So it's 11 stops to Knock Holt, which is the furthest Zone 6 station, and we're going to, uh, eight. I was gonna say Zone 8. Eight stops, which is by the looks of things, Pets Wood. So, Pets Wood, huh? Eight stops down from Charing Cross. We'll find out what's there when we get there. Really great view of Canary Wharf you can get from this line. Something I do notice more and more as I go around the sort of area is that London stations all feel quite samey with not much difference. I don't know. It might just be me. Here's Chislehurst. I think the next stop is Petswood. Uh, yes, it is Petswood. I was right. Yes, it says on the departure board back there. So, one left. Next station is Petswood. Well, we've made it to Petswood. Nice. So all of this randomness, random journey deciding from the wheel has taken us to Petswood. Of all places. Sure, I'll take it. I'm just glad we kind of didn't end up being stuck in like southwest London on Southwestern Railway for the whole video because it would have been a bit underwhelming. Shame so, we didn't get to the yeah. north of London, but. Oh well. So, well, yes, I hope this was interesting. If you have any ideas for uh, any other ways we can possibly do like a randomly generated journey around this place, that'd be great. Let me know in the comments. Should be good. And uh, yes, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel.